What's up everyone, and today I'm bringing a deck profile on my Weather Painters. Now, well enough, I actually recorded this um, deck profile earlier this month, which happened to be um, uh, like uh, three days before the ban list, and uh, one card in here got banned. Just like, you couldn't have waited, I don't know, to ban it later. Uh, so now I have to, I had to like refigure this deck out and all that. Although, I still can use the Neuron Engine in this deck. Like, the Neuron Engine isn't by any means dead. It just lost its best card, but there's other things that you can use instead of Zexel. They're not as good as Zexel, but they're still good. So, for ado, before we get into the deck profile, just wanted to remind you to hit the subscribe button. Because, uh, last I checked, around 95% of you watching this video are not subscribed. Bring the tears to my eyes. But let's fix that by hitting the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get right into the deck profile. Now one thing I have to say on Weather Painters, I would definitely say this is a favorite deck of mine. I wouldn't say it's like my most favorite deck, but it's definitely one that for the past like few weeks, at least other according to this video, I've been really using a lot. Like I've been uh, competing in tournaments with it. Although officially or technically I haven't competed in a tournament with it yet, but I have been bringing it to tournaments and you know, using the deck. And it's performed actually quite well. Like it was going toe to toe, toe, -to -toe with the uh, Eldritch of all decks. So I kind of figured out, like, I, I know this deck really well. So first off, I want the three Weather Painters Snow. Weather Painters Snow, when it is normal summoned, you can place one Weather Spell Trap directly from your deck to your Spell and Trap Zone. Now the one cool thing with the uh, Weather Painter effects is that the wording makes it to where you can work around cards like Anti-Spell Fragrance. Because it says place. It, it bypasses Anti-Spell Fragrance, which is pretty cool. I also run um, the three Weather Painter Thunder. Thunder, you can uh, essentially destroy one of your uh, a face up continuous spell trap to place one weather painter spell trap, or I guess one uh, technically canvas to your uh, spell and trap zone. I also run the uh, two sun. Sun is if it's in the grave, you can send a face up continuous spell and trap you control to the grave to special summon this card in defense position. And if you do, place one weather spell trap from your hand or face up from your uh, hand face up in your spell and trap zone. Also run Weather Painter Cloud. You don't really use Cloud for its effect too much, but if a face-up weather card you control is sent to the graveyard, you can target up to two weather spell traps in your graveyard, place them face-up in your spell and trap zone. Also run the uh, one Weather Painter Rain. Rain, if this card is special summoned, you can uh, place one weather spell trap from your hand face-up in your spell and trap zone. And I also run the one Aurora. When this card is normal summoned, you can place one weather spell trap from your hand, deck, or grave face up in your spell and trap zone, then your opponent cannot target weather spell traps you, you control with uh, card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Now, all the way the painters have a secondary effect is when they're banished to activate a weather effect, you can special summon them during the standby phase. So, essentially, what we do is you summon, banish to uh, activate its effect, which I'll, I'll get more into in a minute. And then during the standby phase, whether yours or your opponent's, special summon it back. So the one cool thing is that they can dodge like a, a lot of removal and destruction. Similar to like how what prank kids can do because they're all quick effects. Same thing with the weather painters. Now the last monster I run is I run three Numeron Wall. Originally I was running Utopic Zexel, but uh that got banned, so I had to take that out and kind of figure like is the Numeron engine still good enough to use in this deck? Yes it is. It's Although instead of going into a Zexel, you can go into Opelousa or an Axis Kotok or or even the uh, Infinitrack Link 3. Like, you still have options. They're not as good as Zexel, but you still have good options that you can use with this deck. So I, mean, I usually go into Opelousa because one thing with the Weather Painters, it, it kind of tends to take a turn or two to really, you know, get going, building its board. So that's why I ran Zexel to kind of like buy that time to where this deck can really start to function. Opelousa can still buy that time, although if they can just continually bait out your Opelousa effect or negates, then um, it's going to become increasingly harder. But if you hit them in key plays, it is it can still work. Moving on to spells and traps. I run three Neuron Network. Neuron Network, you can send one Neuron uh, spell card to, to the grave, from deck to grave, and then it becomes... Network becomes that card's effects. So what you would send is a uh, Numeron Calling. The network would gain Calling's effect, which is a special summon up to four Numeron XYZ monsters with different names from your extra deck, which is pretty good. So essentially, you still get up to four monsters 
and then just go into Opelosa. Now, the one thing is that um, after you activate this effect, you can only normal special summon once this turn, which is why once you go into Opelousa, that that's all you're going to have. Next, I run the uh, three Weather Snowy Canvas. Snowy Canvas is your searcher. Now, this is where, um, as I mentioned earlier with the, uh, the Weather Painters and how they banish to activate effects. So the way the Weather Painters work is when a uh, Weather Painter is in its column or adjacent, they gain this effect. So Weather Painter Snow would gain the effect of Snowy Canvas. Same with whatever card's here and whatever card's here, which is pretty cool. So essentially you could have like a, like three disruptions or, well, not necessarily disruptions, but like if you have a um, cloud on the field, you can like have their attack like three times, which is pretty cool. So this is like a deck where uh, zone placement does matter a whole lot. And a snowy canvas effect is you can banish this card, quick effect, add one weather painter or add one weather card from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot add cards from your deck to your hand for the rest of the turn except by drawing them. So that's the one cool thing about the canvas is that they're all quick effects. So all the weather painters become quick effect monsters. And as you know from um, prank kids, that's pretty good. And I guess also Orcus because uh, Babel makes some quick effects. Also on um, the one cloudy canvas. Cloudy canvas, you're going to banish... You can banish this card, target one face-up monster on the field. Have its attack and uh, for the rest of the turn, but it can attack directly this turn. And again, it's the monster. For the for the canvas cards, it's the monster that's activating the effect, not the spell. The monsters gain the effect of the spell. I know it can be kind of confusing sometimes. Now I run the uh, one weather sunny canvas. You can banish this card, target one monster your opponent controls. Quick effect, tribute that tar oh. You can banish this card, then target one monster you control, tribute that target, and if you do, special summon one weather monster from your hand or grave, but not with the name, same as the tributed monster had on the field. I also run um, the three, Celestial Transformation. Now, I saw people running the Valhalla Hall of Fallen, I think it was. I don't remember. And after looking at this, I'm like, why? This card is just infinitely better. First off, it's not a continuous spell trap, or it's, it's not a continuous uh, spell which Valhalla is. And um, one thing in this deck is sometimes your spell and trap zone can get kind of clustered to where like, ah, I want to destroy one of these cards so I can activate something, but I can't because it's full of canvas cards. So it's also transformation. You can spell summon a fair attack monster from your hand, but have its attack and it's uh, destroyed during the end phase, which is not a problem. It's, you're going to banish it long before the end phase. I also run the one dimensional fissure because uh, you essentially banish to activate card effects. So it's, so your weather painters don't really go to grave. They, they go straight to banish. So it works around dimensional fissure. Next, moving on to the traps. I run the three rainbow canvas. Rainbow canvas, you, if your opponent controls a monster quick effect, you're going to banish this card, special summon one weather monster with a different name from your deck. Also, you're not special summon other monsters from the deck for the rest of the turn. And I also have uh, the weather two, two, the weather thundery canvas. This one. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a monster opponent's monster, you can banish this card, return that opponent's monster to the hand. So it's kind of like um, kind of like storing mirror force in a way. I also run the two anti spell fragrance because, like I said at the beginning, weather painters work around anti spell fragrance. Then again, they also work around dimensional visitor and some other cards, which is the really cool thing about this deck. Oh, and also the fact that the deck is pretty much all hollowed out. Like the lowest rarity is rainbow being rare. I, I wish I had a higher rarity. I also run. Two Heavy Storm Duster. The only reason I'm running this card is because there have been situations where I've wanted to destroy some of my uh, canvas cards, but I didn't really have a way to. Like, yes, you got Thunder, but that just replaces it with another canvas. Sometimes I want to uh, blow it up so I can activate an Anti-Spell Fragrance or Dimensional Fissure or Celestial Transformation. So I run that. That's kind of like help with uh, that problem. And I also run Skill Drain because... Uh, like, like Anti-Spell Fragrance, this deck works around Skill Drain, because Skill Drain negates the monster effects, but the Weather Painters, it's they gain the effects from the spell, so you have to negate the spells in order to negate the mo monster effects. So this works around Weather Painters, and uh, Macrocosmos, because it's just like Dimensional Fissure. Weather Painters just work around a lot of stuff, in general. Moving on to the extra deck. First off... I run the two Weather Painter Rainbow Canvas. Rainbow Canvas is um, the only extra deck painter, Weather Painter monster. Essentially, it's a Solemn Judgment, and it turns all your monsters into negations. So it's a, while it is a, a link 
three and the only uh, weather painter extra egg monster it's a good one at that whenever a uh whenever your opponent would special summon a monster quick effect you can send this link summon card to the graveyard negate the summon and if you do destroy that monster and any weather painter in this card's column or adjacent so in any of the link arrows gains this effect when a card or effect is activated quick effect you can bench this card negate the activation and if you do destroy that card yeah it's pretty good next I run the two barricade board blocker since you run a lot of continuous uh spells so this is pretty much always going to be good i run the uh one nightmare phoenix the one uh herald of mirage lights it's a, another negation the one infinitrack fortress megaclops I, I, I honestly go into uh opelos of a horror i go into megaclops but it's just there as the option also run the opelousa the axis code and the boral sword dragon now moving on to the xyz monsters i run one two three and four as well as the one break sword now um with the numeron en engine it's good going first and going second so essentially what the uh neuron the numeron gates do is that at the end of they cannot be destroyed by battle and at the end of the damage step if this card battle an opponent's monster you can detach one material from this card never mind that, that part doesn't matter so yeah like uh it's not as good as going second but you mainly want to go first so that was my Weather Painter deck. Let me know what you think about it. Do you think it's a pretty cool deck? Do you like the art or the fact that it's all hollowed out? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video I make. Bye.